If you don't have a Hugo project already, use the Hugo new command to create a new project. After that, cd into the project and then go to the Hugo Clarity GitHub website. Copy the git submodule command. Before doing the git submodule command, make sure you do git init to initialize your project. Next, you want to pre-fill your project files with the one that's in example site under the Clarity theme folder. To do this, you can use the cp command that's provided in the readme file and run that in your terminal. Once you run the cp command, you can check your folders to see that there are files in there. Now you can run Hugo server dash D to start your local web server and you can go to localhost colon 1313 to see your website running locally. To remove the support for multi-language, you will want to go to languages.toml file under config slash underscore default folder and remove line 7 to 10. Next, you want to go to default slash menus folder and remove the menu.pt.toml file. Now, if you go to your website again, your website should refresh and support for multi-language should be gone. Next, I'm going to make edits to the menu bar to do this you want to go to the config default menus and menus.en.toml file within here is the configuration to the menu in this menu bar i'm going to change the links menu to more camping and within that menu i'm going to replace the sub menus with bar camping and wild camping currently the sub menu directs you to LinkedIn and Twitter. I am going to change that so that it will display my content. To do this, under your content folder, you want to create two new folders, car camping folder and wild camping folder. Under these two folders, you want to create an empty file called underscore index.md. Next, you can start adding your own posts into these two folders for now i'm just going to copy some of the md files from the posts folder to link the sub menu to the content folders that you just created you have to change the url to the folder that you created in my case will be wild underscore camping and car underscore camping if you now start your server again and go to those two sub menu then it should list the content that's in the folder that you just created to change the name and the description on the web page you will go to the folder default and find param.toml file then you will want to change intro description variable and name variable within this file you can set other configurations as well for example the number of recent posts number of featured posts or number of pinned posts you just have to uncomment those lines I'm not sure why but the number of recent posts always displays one more than what i set it to to change which posts to be on your featured list all you have to do is go to your post and set the featured variable to true or false to add a new tag or category all you have to do is go to your posts and at the very top in the tags list you will just add your own tag one thing to note is that once you add your tag you might have to kill your server and rerun it again in order for it to show up to change the top left logo of the website you can go to static slash logos folder and either you can delete logos.png or replace logos.png with your own logo and that will show up one thing to note is once you made your change you might have to do a hard refresh on your website for your logo to show up because your website might still be caching the old logo